So this is a really quick video. I'm in the middle of my uh, work day. You can see the frost on my um, mustache and on my beard. I'm out in the snow in the Dakotas. And, uh, but I've been thinking this for uh, weeks and, uh, and I need to make this video before I forget. Compromise on the abortion issue. I would like to take this uh, opportunity to apologize to the pro-choicers. Um, you know, in many ways, the, the, what is the adage that politics is the art of compromise and we should have offered you workable compromises a long time ago, those of us who want to, uh, excuse me, who want to abolish abortion, we should have met you halfway. So I've got two of them, I want to rattle them off real quick. And I'd appreciate your feedback, uh, pro-choicers especially, pro-lifers too, but primarily pro-choicers. What do you think about these two compromises? Let's work it out. Let's get past this thing. Okay, first of all, you want to kill your children? Fine. Uh, kill your children. In fact, Moses even allows it. Let, just, you know, let the little bastards be born first. Let them do something wicked, okay? Uh, if, they, if you pop them out, give them a chance, right? Give, give everybody a fighting chance. Uh, Jerry Clower used to say, even when coon hunting, give that coon a fighting chance, right? It might knock the coon out of the tree and fall down and have to fight off 20 coon dogs, but you give that coon a fighting chance. Well, what I'm saying is, give the little bastard a fighting chance. If you, if you want to kill your baby, you can kill your baby. Just let him pop out and let him, you know, prove whether he's good or evil. Let him, because if he's wicked, I'll help you, okay? If he's, if he's, um, you know, sleeping with other men's wives, if he's, uh, a little, even if he's a little kid, if he's a little sodomite, if he's a little nasty, little rebellious, incorrigible bastard, okay, okay, kill your little kid. You know, he's your kid. After all, you brought him into this world, you can take him out of it. But if you don't let him at least pop out into this, you know, outside world, you know, you lose the right to take him out of it. Okay, that's my number one uh, compromise I'd like to offer as a abolitionist who is willing to compromise with the pro-choicers. You can have your choice, just, you know, give the little son of a bitch a chance, all right? And uh, the number two, uh, to wrap this up, what was the number two? Um, oh, 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 okay, okay, if you, if number one isn't good enough, okay, we can allow abortion, but I suggest, as a compromise, every abortion the, the abortive uh, mother, quote-unquote mother, uh, has to have, uh, not, not to be killed, but just, but just as a compromise, uh, a limb amputated. And she gets to choose. Like, it could be her left arm if she's right-handed. She can, you know, the first baby, she, she really wants to kill that little bastard. Okay, all right, uh, you've got you to gotta lose your arm. I think that's a reasonable compromise. Then abortion number two, you've got to lose now. you got one more arm and two more legs. If she gets to abortion number five, somebody knocks up old Stumpy a fifth time, then, you know, I think then we can look at the death penalty and or sterilization, you know. But let's compromise, all right? It's been many decades. We're not getting anywhere. Let's compromise. What do you say?